So, even if I'm against of GTK third party theming for all the obvious reasons, I'm still doing this demo, because it is actually a good theme with an active development. Perhaps isn't as good, and definitely not as supported as the official GNOME theme, but sometimes you want to have a change in your visuals, even for a little bit. Anyway, let's go! There are quite some Mac OS themes around, but I hope I've picked the very best for you. For GTK we'll go with white surveillance, but despite the name it also has a dark variant, and it won't spy at you. From files I'm going to download 4. Dark Solid and Dark Solid Alternative, because I don't like the opacity of default theme. And also the Light Solid and Light Solid Alternative, although I don't have idea what alternative changes. Now, even if you don't like to use foreign themes, those cursor icons is something you definitely want to try. And by the way, I've set my cursor size to medium, one size bigger than the default. And from here you'll only need to get a single file. For icons we have two choices, that both are pretty good, and both have very active development on GitHub. The first is the white sewer, coming from the same creator as the GTK theme and you'll need to download a single file. However this file is corrupted, so for now you want to get an older versions from archives. The second icon theme is the MK Big Sore, that has very strong similarities to previous icon set, but it follows Apple design a little more aggressively. And again, you only need a single file from here. So we are done with our assets, and now it is time to set everything up. I already downloaded all the necessary files, and next I'm going to show you how you can quickly install them, just in case you're new and gnome and unsure. And I'll start with the GTK themes, by copying everything. Then I'm going to create a new .themes directory, and move everything inside. Reason I'm using this structure is because I want both GTK2, and most importantly Flatpak to work. That for some reason they don't work under .local and share, Okay, let's extract those. And we don't need the zip files anymore. One last thing is to move the subdirectories that contain the actual themes, on parent folder. Let me skip the process, but I forgot to move one, so later when we're picking our GTK theme we'll only have three choices instead of four. And next we're going to do the same for the icons. But this time we'll use the proper XTG specifications, and install everything under our .local share and icons folder. So copy everything here. And extract again. And that might take some time depending your hardware. Okay, same as before. We'll remove the zip files since we don't need them anymore and we'll move the actual themes one folder up, so GNOME settings can see them. And again I'm gonna skip the process. So everything is done, and let's open tweaks to set them online. For start I'll put the controls like Mac OS. And by the way, my fonts is Google Sans which isn't an open font to use, but we can easily get them from Google websites. So, application style, white sir dark solid. Hum, not bad, is it? Cursor, Mac OS Big Sore. And finally icons, White Sur Dark. Oh! A last step is to override the dot themes folder, so Flatpak applications will work. And again, that wouldn't work if we had our themes on dot local share and themes directory. And I have no idea why. Anyway, sudo Flatpak override, file system and themes in our home folder. By the way, that's a global permissions override so it will work for all accounts. So pay extra attention on that. Anyway, the end result is that Flatpak Lollipop accepted the theme correctly, so I believe we're done with this video. One more thing though, is that we could set the shell theme too from the extensions app. However running this version of GNOME will destroy everything, so I won't do that. Meanwhile, I hope you already realize these themes also need to be ported for GTK4 too. 
and I believe we'll get lots of GTK4 applications this spring, so that's an extra problem for third-party theming. Hum, so I basically uploaded this video because I want to use this theme for myself, for some time at least. And instead of getting and responding on comments about my theme setup, I thought it would be faster to make a video. Point is, I didn't really prepare a demo with the actual themes, but most probably you'll see it again on next uploads. And besides, just try it yourself, won't take long. Anyway, that was everything for now. Thank you for watching and all the usual. See you later!